Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check, check, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Mr. Maker. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. No, my day will walk on. I want y'all to definitely tap into all our social media platforms. I mean, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. But definitely you want to check out our Patreon channel because that's where we drop all our full-length interviews way before the clipping start and on our YouTube channel. So if y'all love what we do, you love the brand, y'all go ahead and support. Sign up for our membership. You see everything before it comes out. Man, hey, man, we got some very, very special guests here today. They really don't need no introduction. They come uh, highly recommended. I seen them on the news. Um, I didn't really know what to think. I was just happy to see some sisters coming together. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, these these young ladies here are a little bit different, huh? They do golf, right? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes. And And you got Sharon. Sharon, I think her name's Sharon. <laughs> <He's not laughs> <messing it> up. <laughs> got, I got you. You got Sharon and you got Dr. Carol. You're a doctor. I am. And you got uh, Joy. With an eye. And, um, <laughs> and you got Donna. You know what? Y'all ain't going to act right. You got Donna, right? That's right. Man. So, hey, man, like, um, we wanted to try to, you know, understand sisters in golf, right? Mm hmm Women in golf, right? Diamonds on the green. You really don't see this. So, this is something different for me. So, I guess I want to start off. You want to start off? Or yeah, you want me to I'll start, start off. No, I figured I you wanted it. to. I got it. Because I know growing up as kids, y'all was never thinking about golf. I played as a child. As a child? Yes. Who was that? I was seven years old when I started. Seven? Yes. Here okay, you know, when you think about people playing golf, especially as kids, the first thing, I, this might be a scenario. Tell me if I'm wrong or right. Y'all was rich. Y'all no. got some money. No. <laughs> Girl, no. Yeah, I, can, I can help Everything you with that. was donated to Okay, I was just checking because with. that is a scenario that a lot of people think about. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, that is. But okay. I, I grew up in South Central. We didn't have. South Central where? Los Angeles. Okay, I was, I was yes. just checking because when I hear South Central, the first place you think about is LA. So yeah. I was just checking. That's, 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 that's wow. Where I'm from. Okay, so that's where you learned was in L.A.? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me start off with you. What was it like growing up in L.A., South Central? Because when you think about South Central, seeing the movies, gangs, violence, mm -hmm. all of well, that. Well, I think about Ice Cube, how to survive in South Central. <laughs> <Friday>. you <know? laughs> Survival mode, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I've, growing up in L.A., I've, I saw a lot. Um, a lot of the people I grew up are no longer here. Mm. So that was my getaway playing golf. Mm -hmm. I got away from everything. I got away from reality. Because it was hard. You're seeing drive-bys, car chases in front of your house, helicopters every night. Like, that was how I went to sleep. I heard the helicopter every night. Mm. So, it was my getaway. I was able to travel and go different places, meet different people. So, I enjoyed it. Were you in a household with your mom and dad? Yes. And okay. That's good. And a brother. So, you were the only girl. Actually, I have two sisters and a brother. I'm the baby. Oh, you're There's the baby. There's a big gap between us all. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how did you end up in golf? You said, so it's, um, walk me down that because- Hold it was on, hold on before you go. I, I want to talk about this helicopters going over your house. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I watched uh, Boys in the Hood and he was swinging in the air on that part. Y'all might not have seen it, but, and it was helicopters coming over and he was sick and tired of it and he kept, he was frustrated. And that, you think about the movies, they, they did that movie. I, I, we interviewed uh, Lonzo the mm -hmm. other week, and that was his house they were shooting mm -hmm. boys in the hood in. And like you think about this perception that they made up and how realistic it was for those guys, like Ice Cube and those guys coming together and doing those movies. So was that? would you say that's kind of relatively the, the truth? Yeah. You, I mean, you get tired of it. You do. But at that time, it was my life. I couldn't get away from it. And so that was Crips and Bloods and everything else. Yeah, like I lived in a Crip area. And yeah, I figured that. I seen the Blu-ray. I seen the Blu -ray. Cause baby, because I'm a thug. <laughs> okay, now I'll tell you. Go ahead. So tell me, how did you um, end up playing golf at seven? What organization was that, and how did, was that brought to your parents? My dad's a good friend at the time. He worked for a newspaper in L.A., and so they were having registration for golf and he was writing on it. So he was like, oh, sign Joy up. It might be something she want to do. 
And so my dad signed me up. And at first I was like, oh, I don't know. But it, you know, I met my really good friends there. And at that time, it was Western States Golf Association. Mm. So. Wow. Okay, that's dope. She went to college on a golf scholarship. Mm-hmm. You didn't tell me yeah, that. That's all. Scholarship. Yeah. So you got good. Oh, yeah. Really good. I graduated from Jackson State University. Damn, wow. that's hard. Yeah. Let's talk about you know you know you you jumped in with the particular right there. I seen that. Sure. Oh, she went okay. So we want to know about the you know just the way that this whole organization started as well. But we want to get into how you even got into golfing as well. Okay. Well, I played all sports, um, but you know when I was growing up, you didn't see a lot of us playing golf, mm-hmm. so I wasn't um, introduced to it. But after um, you get a certain age, you know there's only certain things that you can do. So um, my daughter, I used to um, coach my daughter's volleyball team, and she didn't want to play anymore. So I'm like, hmm. So one day I went out to the golf course, and I didn't see any of us. I said, you know what? I think there's probably other women like me that want to learn how to play but don't know how to get started. So I put a post on Facebook and said, hey, I'm looking to start a women's golf organization. Um, I had an overwhelming amount of responses. And at that time, you knew how to play? I didn't know how to play. Okay. I just wanted to do something different. Okay. And then the fact that I didn't see a lot of African Americans out there, that kind of motivated me to try to start something. So I had over 50 women that came out that was interested. Um, I pitched the, the, the goal or, you know, my vision at Top Ball. Started the chapter here, and I always say and that— And you got, you got an um, instructor— Got an instructor. Okay. I'm, I'm more or lo- less like self-taught. Oh, okay. Um, That's what I was wondering. Yeah, self-taught. So um, my vision was just to keep it here in Texas. Mm-hmm. Well, I had I wasn't dreaming big enough. God saw a bigger vision for me. So since I started in 2018, we've expanded to 10 different states, um, over 25 chapters, over 300 women. And the name of the organization? Diamonds on the Green. Sharon, did you ever expect it to get this large? Did you expect it no. to grow that fast? No, I didn't think that there were um, women, um, African American women, that was interested in it. So you started in 2018? 2018, five years ago. Wow. And and so you guys have been consistently going as well. So and I think that's dope. I think that's live. Mm-hmm. So like like when you when you started this now what what is what have you seen what was the the thing the obstacles that you had to face trying to make you know get keep this going even today um as early as yesterday um you don't see a lot of us um yesterday I played in a, a golf tournament and when I walked on a golf course Where? I was um I won't say the name no of no no one. what area it's a uh, rock wall okay so I was the only one mm-hmm. African American woman. And my partner, he was the only African American man. So we were um, we were paired up with another couple. So we were kind of late because of traffic. Well, I walked by him. He says, "Oh, you're late." I said, "Oh, okay. We this is how we gonna start out, right?" So when people look at us, they think that we're just cute and we don't know how to golf. So we get to the first tee, and he goes, "Well, we're gonna um, tee off on on the white tee." Normally, when I play with men, I play I shoot from the white tees. So I let them shoot. I said, well, I'm going to shoot from the white tees. And he kind of like, look, like, mm, why she you You know. Right. So I hit my ball. We go to our balls. His ball was over here. My ball was directly across from his. Mm. I said, is this your ball? He says, yeah. I said, oh, there's my ball right there. I said, I wasn't too late, was I? <laughs> oh, man. So is it, I mean, it's, we know that it's probably a pre- predominantly uh, male-driven sport, mm-hmm. right? Like, yeah. How tough is it just convincing one like like that that you guys are credible? You have to pretty much whoop up on him first. Yes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, you are. Yeah, you, you have, have to, out there you have to let him know that, hey, oh, I can gosh. play. Yeah. So first couple of holes, you know, I was driving right with him, and I had to gain that respect and mm-hmm. let him know. So did I, you get that respect I after did. that? That's I it. did. That's and it. I said, you know what, I'm going to play from the red tees with your wife now. And he right. just turned big red. Right. Wow. So, yeah. I think that's awesome. I, I mean, know for me, me and my best friend, you know, as juniors, the men didn't want to play with us. Mm-hmm. And the courses that we played at were black courses, in, mm-hmm. you know, and they never want to play with us. So we're like, OK, go ahead and go. And so me and my best friend, she's actually a diamond in California, Tierra. We would hit over their heads on purpose. Mm-hmm. While they're standing there, we would just hit over their heads. Like, can we go around y'all? Because y'all moving too slow. <laughs> like, you get no respect as a woman. 
man. A couple of things I wanted to say because you know how when you first started it and had so many women actually came out to support it. Mm -hmm. When I think about that, when you said that, I was thinking about because it, yes, it was a male driven sport. And most of these men are married or have their woman at home, and but they wouldn't come because they didn't have, they're like, it's boring or they didn't know anything about it. So to me, it gave them something to do to, you know, with their partner. Mm -hmm. But some men, I would assume, were like, no, you need to stay home. And, and that's, that's the, the beauty of it. So the men can go and play with the men and you can have your the wife come play with the woman. But okay. it's also a sport, regardless of how tall you are, how small you are, you can, <laughs> <laughs> we can still play together. So I And think, be competitive. And be competitive, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can this is a sport that you can play, you know, to your line, your your last breath. If you think about it, a lot of the athletes who end up retiring from their sport, football, basketball, they end up playing golf. I, um, I said that earlier yeah. on another and podcast. It, also, too. if you think about it, in golf, you don't have a lot of the injuries that come mm -hmm. along with the other mm -hmm. sports. Yeah. Do men and women normally compete against each other? No, they have women flight and, and men flight. So when you play in a golf tournament, no, unless you have a co-ed tournament, like yeah. the one I played in yesterday. It was a couples tournament. Only then will you be paired up with another man. Do you think men and women should have more um, tournaments playing against each yeah, other? I mean, I think it's fun. I mean, it's it's a sport that you can play with your significant other. It's a sport that you can play with your kids. Like I said, it's a sport that you can play until your last breath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I, the one that I played in yesterday was a lot of fun. And I think if we bring more awareness to our culture, a lot more of us will, will come out there. With Diamonds, we kind of change the narrative because we have mm -hmm. our drinks, we have our music, yes. we have fun. <laughs> we, you know. Y'all turn up. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Dr. Carol, Miss Carol, um, <laughs> What's so, uh, yeah, are you, uh, okay, so how did you first get into golf? So I started um, taking lessons probably 18 years ago and ended up getting pregnant, so that was a wrap, and I came back to the game in March of last year and started dragging the one that I was pregnant with, my 17-year-old daughter now out with me and we were doing a lesson and mom's old so mom was like let me sit down for a minute and the coach said let me see what you got she hit that ball and she was a natural he said she needs to be on somebody's golf team and so now that is my broke bestie and we join diamonds on the green together we play in tournaments together Actually, all of my kids play, and I play with my husband. I got them all out there. So That's good. when wow. Sharon's talking about, it doesn't matter. With diamonds on the green, they welcomed me. It wasn't about you know skill level. We've got beginners out there. We do clinics to help people get better, learn the skills, learn golf etiquette, so we're not going out there and getting those looks. When we show up, we're ready to play. We're equipped to play. We know the rules and we can play with the best of them. Sure. If you don't know the form properly, can you get injured swinging that um, golf club? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have serious back injury right now. Mm. Well, but then I've played so long, but yeah, I have a bad back from golf. Miss mm. Ron, go ahead and just tell me how do, I mean, what, what is the, the, the most memorable uh, case where somebody came to you and golf help them to you know to to find peace find you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. to get away from all their troubles they they or found you you see what i'm saying yeah and you know i tell the ladies we deal with a lot of things you know from day to day one being women and being african-american women so when you step out on that golf course and i love to tee off you know early in the morning the smell of the the fresh cut grass, mm -hmm. the sunset, you know, that takes me away from my everyday struggles. And, and Joy, you know, she just makes me cry because it's like, you know, we connected, you know, um, not only was it for her safe haven, but it was for me as well. Uh, golf brought us together. You know, you just never know what an individual is going through. Mm -hmm. But when you step out on that golf course, all of that go away. Mm -hmm. You know, it all goes away. Wow, and I want to. We don't want to forget about uh, this woman Donna. in the back, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to hide. She, I'm not trying to hide. Yeah, we we just want to see. You know, like you 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 evidently love golf, and you here. Golf. So how did you end up even being a part of this diamond? 
I actually met Sharon through a client of mine. He introduced me. He wanted me to talk with her about doing some social media marketing for her. And from that, after talking to her, I, she told me a little bit about Diamonds on the Green and the golfing, uh, about beginners to skilled players. And so what I said to her was, I'm interested in learning. And she said, well, you should come out and join us. And so I did just that. And I will tell you, I am hooked. I started <laughs> buying gear. I have... I can't tell you, I have every equipment at home that you can think of to practice. My son started helping me connect with the ball. I started taking lessons. I want you to know I'm addicted to golf. And I think if other people would just give it a chance, come out, try your, whether you're, you're just a beginner or whether you're skillful, just come out and try it. You're going to have a great time. And then when you're with ladies like this, we talk, we have fun, mm. we putt. We have a putting party when we know we're at the end, and not to mention the 19th hole. So okay. I, right. it's a, it's a great time. <laughs> but wow. some people get discouraged at the sport because when you think about the sport, you think about how expensive it can get. Mm. And not everybody can afford to do something like that. How expensive is it to do what y'all are doing? So it's just like anything that you want to do. Some people, you know, have tennis shoes that they, they're into, jewelry that they're into. You budget your lifestyle around that. Right. You know, there's always, you know, discounts for playing golf. You just have to be skilled or savvy. Right. That's just yeah, like right. with coupons or whatever. <laughs> yes. I golf three or four times a week. If you know how, you know, to use coupons and the twilight dates and all that, mm -hmm. it's not as, it's okay. no more expensive than you buying your Jordans every once a month or you know, your your coach purse and your Louis Vuitton, so. Okay. It's wow. affordable. It, it's truly affordable. It is it affordable. Is. Mm -hmm. And we yes. have sponsors that help offset the cost for those that want to play with us. Okay. Yes. So. And how often do you all golf? As often as possible. That look. That's possible. <laughs> that look. Yeah. It really, it really becomes an addiction. It does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Who golfs the most out of y'all, y'all? Sharon. Sharon. Yeah, because I looked at everybody. <laughs> yeah, I already knew. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You know, I started Diamonds on the Green. You can't, you know, motivate anybody to play if you're not out there playing. Right. Right. So right. the more they see me out there, I'm like, okay, well, let me get out there. How often do you get out there? Don't tell me you go out there every, every day. day. Every For day. For real? Every, every day. day? I don't. I'll say every other day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's just my safe haven. I mean, I'm an empty nester. That's just a place for me. And a lot of times I golf by myself. You know, mm -hmm. I can just Doesn't get out. boring? No, no. Because mm -hmm. I have that's my... Fun. Yeah, and, and that's my time to work on some stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. To work on right. some stuff. But right. yeah. It's no, peaceful. You it's go I tried putting one time. You know those little <laughs> golf... Um, what you call put, it? Put, 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 put places. It, I did that once when I first got here to the U.S. And I went to one. And I could not get a ball in the hole. I threw that thing away. <laughs> you should come out and golf with us yes. one day. Yeah. I was so come mad. Come out and golf with us yes. one day. Not you. gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen. We didn't ask she can you. golf with y'all too, right here. <laughs> what? Oh, but not with her. No, she's single home. and she's single. I don't trust her. <laughs> <laughs> don't trust her. Did I shut it down? No. I, think I shut say, it come down. In, come and golf with Carol and I. There you go. Wait a minute. Yeah, we golf with the boys. We golf with Wait couples a, retreat around this thing. You know what I'm talking about? No, let me say this. Even though we're single, we still carry ourselves as, as respectable mm -hmm. women. Most people look at yeah. So if you golfing with a diamond just because you single, that don't mean we're gonna be out there dropping it like a hot trying to, you know, catch a well, head. Yeah, I heard stories. It's not about that. <laughs> no, I'm just you kidding. That's that's a wrong group. If you had a story, that's <laughs> a wrong <laughs> group, right? That's not on diamond. the green. Yes. To be honest with you, I know you guys are reputable, but we'll think about it, okay? Um, Are you speaking if for, you, if you, if you, uh, uh, We won. We won. When you got somebody, so, y'all won. So you know what I'm So I'm going to give you that, that, that y'all are one. Mm -hmm. So y'all need to come out together. Right. So, and oh, we'll get yeah. her Definitely in some try clinics it out. so she can get some lessons going. Definitely. And, we'll get and her some I would gear. even start a men's organization. Just for you. There you go. Right there. Right here. Right here. Right here. No. Right here. You wouldn't. I, I would. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut no. it down. Look, I've got two members already, a husband there, and a there son. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> you see, when I think about golf, I think about a gentleman's sport or a sport that deals with um, 
sportsmanship, like mm-hmm. really great sportsmanship. I don't ever hear about a whole bunch of fighting and cussing and arguing and all of that sort of stuff. Y'all are on the, on the field all the time, on the green. Y'all might see some stuff. I don't know if I'm wrong about it. We have seen some things. <laughs> yeah. There some yeah, things. yeah, there's some. So you do have some of that sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. not as not as much as, as the like on a basketball yeah, court or it's more like that. Physical. I mean, when you're golfing, you. I, I mean, it's like I say, golf is like a game of chess. I play chess. I mean, you have to be very um, strategic in your next move. Is there any it's smack talking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We, yes. Is there any betting? Yes. yes. <laughs> there's, there's betting, there's drinking, there's all that. Don't bet until you got your game straight. Sound me like you're going to the club, her. boy. <laughs> y'all really not going to make it to my wife getting over there. Boy, y'all messing that one up. You know what well, we see, it's not us. Not yeah. us. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's why she keep wanting to go back. She like, I gotta get back over there to go. Oh, yeah. They done turned me out over there. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask a question, and each of you can answer it separately. What is your handicap where it comes to golfing? Oh, I don't have a handicap. I haven't turned in enough scorecards to get a handicap, but mm, I would say probably a ten. A ten. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't want to say mine. Say, say yours. <laughs> yeah. my, I'm about a 15. Mm. Donna? Ooh. About a 25, 30, somewhere mm. in there. Mm. I'm, I'm about a 30. I'm working on getting it. So, you know what? I'm, I'm going to let everybody know because when you start, and I've only been playing a year, mm-hmm. I started out at like 35.4, so I'm down to 30. Matter of fact, I just checked it last night, so... I'm getting there, and I finally shot under a hundred. So, wow. and explain to everybody who might not know what a handicap is. That's normally how much, like, say par is seventy five for a course. You would, like, how I said I was ten, I would shoot like eighty five. Mm. So it's your average of Got it. scores. Got it. So it helps if you're playing like in tournaments and you're playing against someone. If she has a handicap of a ten. Basically, I'd get 10 strokes on her to level the playing field Mm -hmm. when we're out there. Got it. So it allows you, regardless of the level that you are, to have some, you know, to even it out a little bit for you and the other person so that you still feel like I'm playing and playing with a purpose instead of feeling like, you know what, it's like if I went out and played against Tiger Woods, I think his lowest has been a 62 Mm -hmm. that he shot. I'm nowhere near a 62, so. <laughs> do y'all watch golf on TV all the time? All the I time. do, yes. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Who is your favorite female golfer? Ooh. Troy Mullins for me. I love her. Troy Mullins. Troy Mullins, okay. We'll yeah. look her. And why? Um, I like her style. She's African American. I like her look. Um, she's the longest drive champion probably yeah. like two or three years ago. Mm. So um, she was one of the first of our kind. Got so I, I love looking at her. And wow. I yeah. like Cheyenne Woods. Um, she's uh, Tiger Woods' uh, niece. Okay. And I think yeah. I've seen her. Yeah. yeah. So I I kind of like her well-rounded game. Got it. I'm going to pick my teammate from college, Shasta Avery Hart. She's a graduate of Jackson State University, and oh. she is awesome. <laughs> yes, the Jackson State University, home of the sonic boom of the South. <laughs> Should I keep going? <laughs> I want to get Donna. back to Sharon. <laughs> Who do you love? You know, I watch the LPGA, and I don't necessarily have a favorite, but uh, I just like anyone that's winning and staying, hitting the ball straight. So I don't necessarily have a favorite just yet. No, I'm yet. still learning the game. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Wow. Well, hey, man, you know, one thing I can say, um, yeah, you got to get your money right. How much is it called for that membership? And where do y'all like the best go and play? So I think that's a myth that um, – we can kind of dispel because you can go and play a course where it's 20 bucks for you to play or you can play some of the really nice private courses that might be two hundred dollars for your green fees so don't let that discourage you especially when you're starting out just go see what's local near you there's a lot of public courses so 
I wouldn't say go to you know a really expensive course and like the spend, cowboys. Yeah, I was just thinking the <laughs> cowboys and play. How much at, is it to play over there? Like, like two hundred. And even with the the new LPGA um, yeah. headquarters, that's like two hundred. Yeah. Is that the highest around? No. Oh no. How how much does it go up to? It just really depends. The there's day there's a determined. place in Texas. You you they charter a plane and you go out there overnight, and it's like I think it's thirteen hundred dollars a person. So it can get up there. That's what mm. I'm saying. You know, start where you can start and mm -hmm. get your game up before you start investing. What's your in favorite club right now to play at? Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to say right now, probably, well, I'm going to go with, uh, I, there's two. I like Waters Creek, that's over in Allen, and I like Westridge, which is out in McKinney. Hmm. My cousins, they think they some golfers, right? So they got a little money, they lawyers, and they go around. They, I've, I've always watched these guys do this. They go to different states. Well, they go wherever Tiger yeah. Wood and them right. go, they go the next time. Right. They, they don't go with Tiger Wood. <laughs> no, they can't go with them, but they be up there. Mm -hmm. If they went, then they say, oh, yeah, we going up there. They played on that course. We, we go up there. We have our own private. Okay, do you guys ever go outside like to different states and do mm -hmm. y'all doing yeah. the same thing yeah mm -hmm. um actually in uh april of next year we're going to um california we have an annual golf weekend that we go that we put on so the last three years it was here in texas so next year we're going to um palm springs i think yes palm, palm springs, springs california yeah. oh, and it'll yes. be a weekend um from thursday to sunday event how far is palm springs from uh, l.a that's about maybe two hours. Yeah, you gonna be stopping through your hood. I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're gonna be stopping through there with your blue rag just hanging out. You know? Only on the left side. <laughs> That's so what he's saying. <laughs> no, like I, I think you guys are incredible just to even be able to, you know, keep um, you know, keep things going, professionalism. Women of color, I think that's hard, man. Like I said, and, and you guys are the only ones, right? Or is there other no, groups of there's, there's How many more is it? And do y'all ever compete against them? Um, you, That would be hard. That would be nice right there. Maybe y'all need to talk to them. Yeah, right? maybe we that could. Would be, that I mean, would be there's nice. some local tournaments that we end up playing in yeah. where we come across other organizations. But yeah. we play as a team, um, the Diamonds, and then we play against Well, them. I know the pot, you know, it's a pot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we've also, um, Sharon and I have also played in other organizations, their tournaments as well. Wow. So, mm -hmm. so what what is the what is the thing you guys look forward to accomplishing this year uh, with the with the whole uh, organization? Bringing on more chapters, um, bringing awareness to the game. Um, like I said, right now we're in ten states. My mission is to get in all fifty states and just bringing more African-American women to the game and changing that narrative. Mm -hmm. wow. So let me ask you this. Um, so a woman, I'm not going to say beginner levels. What are the different levels in golf? It beginner, just, in, intermediate, and, yeah, and yeah. pro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So intermediate. Because intermediate, you can still make money, or you have to go yeah. pro level to get no, make money. No, you can make money in at amateur. Any, amateur yeah. Yeah. Okay, so amateur, you're you're you know in twenty men so forth. Compared to a male, who gets paid more? As we all know, males Mary, get paid. Yeah, yeah the males get paid more. Why? Oh. They're, they're both the skill, skill set. Yeah, <laughs> no, if the skill sets, if the skill sets are you know the same. It can't be. No, the skill woo, sets woo. are different. I mean, again, yeah. you know, even in in the uh, professional business world, mm -hmm. we all know that uh, men get paid more right. than women. But it, it's a fight that we're still fighting today, regardless if it's in you know sports, even with sports, uh, the WNBA, they don't get paid as much as. Well, do. that ain't our. It got to be some butts on the seats, okay? Boy, look at this we're right not for the set here <laughs> and act right like here. this thing is not this way for a reason. If you bring the people in, then we can change the scenario. But it has to be. We have to bring them in. It have to make sense, y'all. Yeah. I know y'all are gonna sit here and play me. Like this has to make sense. So, I, and I knew you was gonna do this this show. I just was waiting on my opportunity to say okay. my piece. Okay, yeah, they they gotta bring. I'm not, 
You're totally right. They got to bring more people. I like when you say that. (laughs) (laughs) They got to bring they got to bring more people in, but the society that we live in. Even if they're good at what they're doing we and don't playing, know. hold on. Even we if they're know. good at that, what they're doing and playing awesome, I bet you those females were in short booty shorts. We don't them know. Be full. And, no, and, the seats and, might be and, full. And, and half bras. Thank and you, but that. why does it have we to have get there that. before yeah. the seats get full? Nobody asked for that. Yes, you did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants that. That's mm-hmm. not what men. No, no, men. Oh, you no. talking for yourself? No, I'm you talking for all all man nation. If we came out there, if we came out there in these booty shorts, uh. Bras, trust, lane, lingerie, it'll be full. It'll be full. It'll yeah. be full. But Not it's necessary. sad the fact that we have to mm-hmm. dress like that right. to get attention. It should be about it's our because talents. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people have made that. We don't ask these women to get on Facebook, Instagram, and do all this bobbing and popping they doing. They you do don't? it for totally free. You don't? No, we don't. <laughs> So they the, jump on there in their rooms so the and do it on their own. So the room? male producers who go out there and they say, we're looking for a certain look, so Sex let's sales. take this Let me turn this on let, you. We need oh. to see this one. <laughs> <laughs> let me just be honest with you. They don't have to. They might have stuck the key in the ignition, but the car is crunk now. That's all I'm going to tell you. Ain't nobody making these young ladies do that. They are doing it on their own, and they're doing it consistently. But so numbers they don't to, lie. We have to change that narrative. Well, our our women Men need to stop our looking women at it. need to make sure these daughters know not to be jumping out here. Oh, oh, in the ball. Oh, oh, oh. We about to turn the okay. 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 Let's go back to golf. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny you say that because on social media, if you put one post about, you know, religion versus a post about somebody, you know, with the legs open or, mm-hmm. or shaking. Who gonna get the most like definitely ain't gonna be about the Lord. Mm-hmm. But it's nope. gonna be about the lady that got a legs open. It's Cardinal yeah. who's talented. T D Jakes get plenty of views. All I'm telling you is it's Cardinal on the talent. Now I get it. That's a narrative. You got a lot of creepers out there. I know where you're going, but you do have some good people. <laughs> T.D. Jakes, no, no, but T.D. Let's Jakes had to T.D. Jakes had to build it up. I knew you'll get away from me with that. No, T.D. T.D. Jakes had to build it up in the beginning. In the beginning, I bet you he wasn't getting them views. Listen, they're tripping. It's not happening. All of a sudden, speaking truth, I mean, he wasn't. He didn't get big overnight. No, he didn't. Okay. But, but you do understand that I think I think we're both saying the same thing. That's how you cut it off. Mm-hmm. I think we're both saying the same thing. That's the same. You know, basically, <laughs> basically, we do need to pay our women more, but they do need to fill the seats up as well because it have to make sense. Mm-hmm. But society is biased a lot of a lot of time, not just on people who are not just on women, but people of color. Mm-hmm. All of these things start weighing in when you start looking at our society that we live in. So I get it. But um, yeah, yeah, I'd be definitely uh, looking forward to uh, not sending you to their golf day. <laughs> <laughs> and, and let me add this in because I don't want us to leave out the young folks. Mm-hmm. We want, even if the parents aren't interested in golf, we want you to contact us because we want to help your children learn the game of golf. I, think See, I was gonna say I was gonna ask start, about the that. Better. Yes. Yeah. How early is the earliest? We have a program. We no. Have, as soon as they can hold a club. Three? Hold a club. Mm-hmm. It's, but our program, three? it was on the green. We start them out at five because they're, they're, their attention span that right. you know, that right. young is not gonna last. But we have a organ a program called Emerald on the Green. And we start them out as young as five. But like Curl said, as early as they can hold a golf club, I've seen this little baby. He had pampers on. Mm-hmm. This is pampers really? Yeah. And he was swinging that little club. I mean, and he would throw his little mm-hmm. form up. I yeah. mean, the cutest thing. Mm-hmm. But my thing is, start them out as young as you can so they mindset. And I say, you know, our people, we think the only way that we can get an education or go to school if we play basketball, football, you know, all the other sports. You're competing with tons and tons of other, you know, people with the same talent. But you forget about golf. Golf is a shoe in for our minority kids because we don't have enough kids to play that sport. A lot of those scholarships go unclaimed mm-hmm. and they have to be forfeited because one, they don't have enough minorities. Two, they don't have enough women. Yeah. So if we start our kids out and we get their mindset that golf is the way to go, they can make money. They can get a free ride in, in education and they won't get all the injuries that they would get playing the Absolutely. other sports. How My think- granddaughter is playing golf with me. We have a putting green in the house every time she's over at the house how old is she 
She's three, <laughs> and she's hitting the golf ball. Well, Joy is and, a and she has witness her to that. That's okay. Joy. She's a Joy. Wow. And Ooh, if you yeah. think about it, when we see TikToks and Instagrams with the little babies bouncing a ball, we don't think anything up about that. Within our culture, that's normal. Mm -hmm. But there are cultures out there that are starting their kids out yeah. with a golf club mm -hmm. as soon as those kids can that's walk. Right. Mm -hmm. And those kids are getting scholarships. It's paying for their education. It's networking mm -hmm. for them. So start them out as soon as you can get them out there, especially our young ladies. That's why I got my daughter out mm -hmm. there so that she can play and hopefully land a scholarship. And I regret not having pushed that earlier Early. mm -hmm. for her. They should even have that as a sport in schools. They do. They it do. is. Mm -hmm. They do. But it not is. all we schools. Just, not just a fake. Yeah. I was we about just, to say, yeah. some we of these don't public just schools don't just have that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We, we yeah. just say it's someone else's sport. It's right. not our sport. So right. right. That's how I've always heard. That's why a lot of people um, like us do, wouldn't even try. Right. Mm -hmm. But okay. you started early. Yes. yes. So that's that. This, but this is a parent encouraged encourage her. Encourage, yeah. yes. yeah. you right place. Her. Daddy was right place, right that's time right. to find that's out that's about right. that. Right. Yes. And that's I have right. a five year old, and I just bought him his first set of clubs. So we went out to the driving range the other day. Mm -hmm. right. So it's, it's bringing awareness, you know, because again, we feel like the only way for us to get that education is with the basketball, the football, and, and the track. No more awareness and we talk about it as much more like we're doing now get the word out and i think we can reach more of our kids that way i bet you know what reach a lot of kids or inspire a lot of kids and i'm in today's society is that money so between a professional basketball player and a professional golfer who makes more it, look at it, tiger woods look at, look at, look at yeah. tiger woods look, i know but golfers make money you they go make out money. There jordan you tiger woods but to me they're on equal uh, footing equal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just curious because, you know, numbers, that's what people look at. That's why they go for certain sports or certain things. Yes, popularity, what the girls go for if you're a guy, you know, but if you're a girl, they're looking at money, retirement, stuff like that. They but here's do. the thing. What is uh, Jordan playing now? Golf. Golf. If he invested his money well, where the money that he made in basketball, he's still making money. But he's also making money in golf. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, well, Michael Jordan is a different. Don't don't even bring him up. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, Michael Jordan makes money off shoes. Mm -hmm. Right. Michael and Jordan he owns was a golf course. Yeah, but yeah. but that that's second nature. Yeah. That ain't that ain't worth. Now don't do this right here. <laughs> <laughs> now Michael Jordan is from basketball yeah. and Nikes and Air Jordans and you know what it's really going. We Did y'all see that movie Air? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was cool. It, you know. Ain't nothing like the old movies, you know. Right. I, I like the old. I'm from the old school, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just brought up boys in the hood. Shout out, right. man. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I brought up Minister Society or something. Right. You know what I'm saying. A basketball movie with Bow Wow. What was that movie he was in? Bounce. Mm -hmm. Was it Bounce? Well, you know, don't you? <laughs> 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 so, old school. So, so, so I want. I, okay, I want to get my kid uh, involved in golf. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's young, six, seven. What do I do? What do I need to do? Just yeah. come. What? Give us a call. We'll, we'll introduce What's the number? Him. My number? The number to give a call to. Yeah. Go to the website. Go to the website. Oh, so we, do have, we do have a new office number. It is 469-398-3263. Okay. So that's our new office number as of early as last week. So okay. you give us a call and we will introduce you to um, a youth golf coach to get your son or daughter involved. Okay, awesome. And the website, what's the website? www.diamondsonthegreen.com hey, okay. www. It's right there. Let's go. And your social medias? Um, we are Diamonds on the Instagram and um, Facebook. Facebook. Uh -huh. Just pull up, type in Diamonds, Diamonds on the Green. Green. And, and oh, we have okay. different chapters. chapters. Yes. I'm East Texas chapter. What? What? That's East what Texas. I'm talking about. Texas. In the building. East <laughs> Texas was our chapter of the year. And I already then, know. Yeah. And then Donna <laughs> was you, our baby. VP of You're the welcome. year. And Carol is our newest president. Of the Frisco of chapter. The Frisco chapter. And we are gunning for the title. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Diamonds on the green and full of fat. We are all community service. Yes. Okay. Yes. We do a lot of community service. Mm -hmm. wow. How many chapters do you have in Texas? Four. 
four. Just the four. Uh-huh. Okay. Where are they East, located? We have East Texas. Um, Frisco. We have Frisco. Um, we have Dallas, and we just started um, a Rollett Rockwall chapter. Okay. Wow. How's that Rollett Rockwall chapter? So we had our at? first new membership drive today, and man, I think we had like fifteen women that come oh, out. Really? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. That's How did cool. they hear about it? Social, Social media. media. Y'all mm-hmm. pushed it out there. Pushed yeah. it out there. Yeah. Man, that's live, man. I sure appreciate yeah. you guys coming and on the show. We've never had get... a show like this. This is the first one <laughs> of many. We're coming back. Uh, yeah. What? And yeah, um, we're back. <laughs> and y'all can always about come that. back. So before you started, what exactly do you do for a career? Me? Hmm? Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, she's a so, professional golfer. Yeah, I'm a professional golfer. <laughs> I'm playing no game. I'm, I'm, in the, uh, you uh, I'm in the auto industry. I'm a legal analyst for um, an automobile um, corporation. Prior to that, I worked for one of the largest banks um, as an operations manager for over 20 years. Okay, because I know America, cause earlier you were talking about, <laughs> you were talking about, so you were talking about an interview America. that you were almost about to do. Mm-hmm. So were you supposed to do an interview because with a bank or? No. No. She was trying to interview Pac. It didn't go good. Yeah. I know. Who were you doing the interview through? Oh, da- uh, Dallas Examiner is one of the minority newspapers here. Ooh. So oh, okay. that was like, mm, 1996. Exactly. <laughs> so I was I'm scheduled. I'm a Tupac fan. I know so you were working for them at the time? Okay. Yes. The okay. Dallas Examiner. That was about mm, 25 years ago. Mm-hmm. Of course. So, um, yeah, I was scheduled to. <laughs> <laughs> He was on my calendar. Tupac was on my calendar to interview, and unfortunately, he um, got killed. Prior uh, to that. Would have would that have been your biggest interview at that time? No, no. Ooh, who else um, have you done? Well, I've interviewed um, Luke. I've interviewed Luke. Who? Hey, you <laughs> know. my wife's show ain't going with you. My wife's show ain't going. Boy, it's coming out now. Keep on. Who else? Who else did you interview? He was on BET Awards the other night. He's still at it. Yeah, still. <laughs> I've interviewed New Edition, uh, Mr. Biggs. Um, What's the, what's the comedian name? D.L. Hughley. All those ones that yeah, was but, popular back in the day. But let me just stop you right there. They so. still ain't bigger than Pac. Don't ever. Uh, well, you're right. That's why he, she said. Well, that's right. why she said they were bigger than Pac. I heard it. Well, you, well, Anything that come up against Pac. Nobody bigger than Pac. So. There you go. That would have been the biggest. I'm sorry. Yeah, that would have that would have been the biggest one. You're right. Donna, what do you do? Because I really am interested. I'm an investment banker. I knew it. She'd be taking <laughs> money from folks. <Paul. laughs> investment banking. So if you... That means I'm getting bread. Go ahead. This is true. So when you hear of capital improvement programs where we're paving streets, we're building buildings and uh, school bonds and building schools, I'm the person that they bring on to help them uh, get their election out, get their bonds sold to investors and get your buildings built and get your streets paved. So that's what I do. Joy, what do you do? For- <laughs> I'm a referral specialist at one of the clinics in Tyler. All right, and that'll be it. I'm just done with it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dr. Carol. I am a licensed professional counselor and industrial and organizational psychologist, and I have a private practice in McKinney, Texas, Authentic Balance Counseling. And I supervise right now about 14 associates that work for me and see clients uh, Monday through Sunday. You are very busy. I am. I also um, teach as an adjunct professor at University of North Texas. Lord have mercy. We have some. When do you have time women? to go home? <laughs> she just. I goes. don't go home. I go home. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she, you just she 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 not go home. And she's married. So she, 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 she got, I don't know uh, what. She's I a mean. marshal. What? We, we marshal yes, for one of the See what I'm saying? <laughs> but, that's no. why, but that's See, why she got her whole family to come out, too. Right. Mm-hmm. We make money and, and we, we golf. golf. Wow. Right. We make money and we golf. That's, right. that's, that's a good, good slogan. That's a great, great combination. Slogan. Yes. That's yeah. right. Man, thank y'all for coming on the show, man. I hope we did y'all justice. This is the first of many. Cause I'm gonna find the other golfers that's uh in. I need to. I gotta set this up. Challenge. I got to. <laughs> because, bring them on. Bring yeah, them on. Yeah. So I mean, like, and it's another sister. I mean, you know, people that look like us mm-hmm. that they have an organization. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I sure am gonna set this up because they coming on Boss Talk. I do say this well, word. Well, if he's not the instigator, <laughs> right? I just wanna. I want some smoke. I want. Okay, I want bring, some. Bring the smoke. It's gonna make you better. Mm-hmm. You wanna be better, don't bring you? The smoke. <laughs> 
<laughs> you will like it, I can tell. I will. <laughs> she, she, she I will. One. That's the one right there. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I thank you guys for even doing this because it helps to put a different look on our our young ladies. Mm -hmm. It gives our young ladies something to achieve, you know? Yeah. Um, definitely would have loved to have my daughter up here, but she's at work right now. This would have been great for the seat. give her our, our information. No, she's not coming over there to join. <laughs> she's, she's going to Brown. She's going off to college. She's going to oh, Brown University. She nice. will be gone. Okay. Okay, so, but we still, I would have loved for her to see this because to see our people, our young ladies unified like you guys, man, it gives you hope. It gives you courage. It gives you a lot of different things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so how important is God in y'all life? Oh, God. He's first. No, first. first. You first. always got to ask questions. I'm you actually that. a PK. I'm a preacher's kid. That, <laughs> baby, I wouldn't have told nobody that. I wouldn't have told but nobody I'm Remember, that. Remember, I told you, I'm innocent. You know, one thing I can say, and I'm not going to be funny because I don't want, because this is my show, but I can say I heard something. God yeah, just good. God just showed me something. <laughs> you know, you a PK, you a PK, single. Look out. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, let me explain. Look out. I'm single I'm because I'm single. Uh, 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 all I'm saying is I just seen it. You know, the light came just like boom, boom, boom. I didn't know. <laughs> a preacher? Well, you a preacher? Yeah, yet. It will happen. Uh, you a preacher's kid? Yet. I am. And you a preacher's kid? Hmm. <laughs> he said, mm. Look at God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single by choice. I, you know, it's a rumor about preacher's kids, and I know y'all heard it. Mm -mm, I didn't hear it. <laughs> what about you? It ain't true. It ain't true. Yeah, it ain't true. What's the worst kids ever? No. Ever. <laughs> and I don't know how true that is, but you know, you guys seem to have, y'all broke the mold. I know y'all great. And I, I, you know, I just want to say, man, you know, God forgives. You know, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, and he does, and he, you know, he sits high and look low, and you know, and we gonna keep God first, guys. Thank oh, you guys so much. No, I love you. you guys, man, for coming on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. I hope this won't be your last time because I do run people off. We've had, had my most viewed episode is people running up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Y'all think I'm playing, but it's, it, boom, one guy run up out of here, passed by them cameras. I, ain't, I don't even know how he got past them like that. <laughs> well, he but, was out of there. Huh? Oh yeah. yeah. But man, thank you guys, man. And I definitely know that uh, this is something that every young lady should be proud to be a part of. I'm definitely going to be pushing the narrative. I am definitely going to be telling people. I do know a lot of people. I would definitely be hitting you guys up. I'm going to get each one of y'all's uh, Facebook or y'all Instagram. I know y'all on there. Mm -hmm. You are professional. I will not be coming to you for any professional <laughs> advice. Uh, y'all, I'll be down the Tyler. Don't even trip. And I will pull up, okay? okay. I right. just want to see if y'all really golf. I'm coming out there with my cameras. Look, I have trophies to prove it. Mm. Why you mm. didn't bring them? I don't believe you. Look, yeah. it's, not, it's not big enough. That's why it's not big enough. It ain't big enough to bring them up in here. No, no. I want a big truck. Man, you got an L.A. truck. You hear that? Man, I don't know. I fish yeah. getting bigger. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank y'all for coming on the show. Thank you, Thank you for having us. I was waiting on that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. What did you enjoy? Yes, sir. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.